Well, there are a lot of myths out there about the effects that different foods have on children and it makes their behavior different. Registered dietitian Crystal McNeil is here to talk about the impact of nutrition on children's behavior and their mood as well. Good morning. Good morning. So we were just off camera talking and you're like, you know, it doesn't really matter if you have the Krispy Kreme donut at night <laughs> or during the day unless your kids really sense it. That kind of surprised me. Why do you say that? Well, that's not exactly maybe perhaps what I said, but the fact is that uh, there are a lot of myths out there about how foods affect children and their behavior. And one is that sugar 100% always causes hyperactivity. Um, and that is based off of a research study that was done in the 70s. One study from a scientist who took sugar out of a child's diet and saw improvement. Um, and since then, it's kind of taken off into this absolute statement that increased sugar always causes hyperactivity. And there have been dozens of well-researched studies since then that have not proven that. So, you know, with that being said, if a parent notices that increased sugar, lots of sugar, lots of really sweet things like a donut, like cupcakes, like cookies does cause hyperactivity, then, you know, maybe that's something. But maybe it's something else in their environment. Maybe they just came from a birthday party and all of that excitement <laughs> is what's got them hyper and mm. not the food itself. So it's just one of those things that, you know, when research is based off of a very limited uh, sample size or maybe it's anecdotal, it's somebody's experience, it's hard to apply that to 100% of the population. So any foods that cause good behavior? Because yeah. I know that there's a lot of parents out there like, please let there be a magic pill. Uh, probably not going to be a magic pill per se, but I mean, just like with most things, a well-balanced diet that includes carbohydrates, healthy proteins, healthy fats, um, particularly carbohydrates. There's Carbohydrates can mean a lot of things. They can mean the added sugars that is in soda, that is in cupcakes, that is in cookies. It could also mean the carbs that are in brown rice and whole grain flours. And that's kind of what you uh, want to emphasize more in a child's diet and in an adult's diet mm -hmm. is those whole grain carbohydrates. They have more fiber. They help keep you fuller longer, which avoids that maybe anger or angst that comes with being hungry or hangry, I think is the term that's used a lot. Um, proteins and healthy fats also help keep you fuller longer. Um, foods with dietary fiber, like fruits and vegetables, whole grains. And um, there's also some very limited research coming out. When I say limited, I mean it's early. It hasn't been around for decades and mm -hmm. decades, but early research showing that omega-3s found in uh, foods like fatty fish, salmon, and flaxseed can also perhaps uh, elevate your mood mm -hmm. and make you a little bit happier. So you hear a lot about how breakfast is very important for young people. Is there, number one, is that true? And two, what's the ideal breakfast when you're sending your kids off to school? Right. Breakfast is very important. And uh, research, that's something that has been well researched. And the science does show that uh, children are more likely to pay attention in school. They're more likely to uh, not miss out and to be on time and not be tardy to their classes and do better academically as well. So again, in a breakfast, what you're looking for is something that's very well-rounded, has uh, maybe some whole grains, complex carbohydrates, um, a healthy protein and a healthy fat. I feel like there's a lot of p parents out there, too, who are always looking for good ideas, and I see you have one out here for Yeah, you. this is something, I work a lot with child care programs, so that's a lot of preschool and toddler age children, so this is something that I have taught, um, and when I say taught, it doesn't even seem like it needs to be taught, it's more like just kind of demonstrating or showing because it's mm -hmm. so, so simple, but we have a whole grain tortilla, and this, because I usually work with preschoolers, it's just half of a tortilla, so it's a little bit smaller, and then a little bit of peanut butter. And I'm going to do this on camera because it's just so, so simple to do. Right. And you just spread the peanut butter on the tortilla. If you have a nut allergy, you can do this very easily with um, a soy butter or sunflower butter. Or mm -hmm. even if you want to do something like almond butter, you can do that as well. And then all you do is take a little piece of banana as big as you want and roll it up. And this is something that your child can make, something nice. that you can do so very quick on the way out the door. Because yeah. a lot of times that is our struggle with, with uh, breakfast in the morning is we don't have time to get it ready. Right. So this is something, obviously, I just did it in about 10 seconds. And your child can maybe even learn how to do it themselves. It's got the healthy fat with the, the peanut butter, a whole grain tortilla, and even a fruit with the banana. And really easy, you can eat it in the car. Love that. So I know we talked about breakfast. What about later at night if they do need a snack before bed? What's the healthiest things that you can give your kids right before they go to sleep? Mm -hmm. I might sound a little bit like a broken record, but something similar. That's right. pretty well-rounded. Um, again, 
If you're a parent and you notice that your child uh, reacts to certain foods and you really feel like, okay, maybe it's not well founded in research, but you're noticing it, that's important. Go to your doctor and ask them about that before you make any drastic changes to diet. Otherwise, if all things are, are equal, something that uh, has some whole grains, has some healthy protein in it that can maybe, if you have a child who seems to get hungry a lot, will help keep them full. The fiber and whole grain flours help keep you keeps you full as well as the uh, healthy fats and the protein. That's what I do for my kiddo because he's hungry like every all hour and a half. <laughs> yes, he's only 17 months old and he eats all the time. So before <laughs> bedtime, we usually give him something with um, a pro like a, some peanut butter and some kind of uh, healthy carb. Yeah. <laughs> I love it because they're, they're always eating. Thank you. Great stuff. We yeah, no problem. It. Thank you. All right, stay with us. We're going to wrap things up right after this.